probably. <laughs> Hi everyone, how you doing? Um, What's well, till the end, but a little bit of history. We're going to go down to Quick Lane and show you um, from start to finish, one end to the other. But um, right now, we've gone a bit la la. We've got la la land. We're in Shoreditch um, and we're going to get some street food. We've got Luke here today, my son. And uh, hungry as ever. Yeah, really am. So they've got all sorts in here. Let's go and see what they got. I think um, we've done Christmas, haven't we? Sorry guys, um, probably won't be talking much while I'm here is because you can hear in the background the music's quite loud which is fine but um, it's copyright and all that and I forgot my microphones so yeah it's my bad but anyway you'll get to see the food uh, nice little place um, yeah probably 50% of them open but I'll take it I'm gonna try a Yorkshire burrito for the first time ever. Luke's had them in Leather Lane and said they're amazing. And uh, Luke's going for some fried chicken. So, um, yeah, we'll have a look when it arrives. I've got a number five buzzer waiting to go off. Yeah, I'll take 
Yeah, I like the, I like the concept. No beef, roast potatoes in there. Bit of veg. Job done. What was it? Tenner. smoky, um, sticky, yeah, what I call a proper barbecue sauce, yeah good, chips are good as well. Right, well, that was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, really good. It's another one of them fills a hole places. But, yeah, really nice. I mean, you know, obviously in the summer it's, it's much better. It's like the one uh, by Borough Market we went to. Um, do you remember? Oh, we had the yeah. bow buns. Yeah, right, we could see the shard from there, couldn't we? That's yeah. it. But you need the weather, really. Um, but it's still good to have a mooch about. You know, found La La Land. It's all booked up in an evening, so I think they get like music and stuff in there, but... Yeah. Yeah, you can imagine it's, it's nice. Yeah, they had all sorts of street food. Uh, I'm always tempted to have a burger, but... I went for the old Yorkshire pudding today, I've never had one. Glad you have? Yeah, I'll have one again, definitely. It was a tenner. Yeah, all right. Might be a bit expensive, but it's a tenner. Don't worry about it, do you know what I mean? That's how I think, you know, just, it's better than beans on toast, isn't it? <laughs> you know? But um, you had the chicken, there weren't much of it, to be no, fair. No, only little, like, tender bite things, but it was all meat, and they were they were really tasty, to be fair, so. You like barbecue anyway, don't you? Oh, I love like barbecue sauce on anything, so. Yeah. No, and, nice, and smoky, yeah, <laughs> quite literally. No, good, really good. Good. Right, gonna end it here then, but not quite, because we're gonna, as promised, we're going to go to Brick Lane, walk from one end to the other, and give you a little bit of history of the famous Brick Lane. Might even pass City Spice. Well, we will. But until the next time, we'll see you in the next one. So, in, in Brick Lane, a little bit of history. Uh, it runs from Swanfield Street all the way to Bethnal Green. And like I said before, if you're from London, there's only one F in Bethnal. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a walk down. It's like the old days though, isn't it? Going along with me uh with my phone. Rolling back the years. That's how I started the channel. Just uh 
me and a phone. But they're all 4K and above now, aren't they? So I use it when I can, especially when I'm walking. filmed Beigle, the Beigle place, uh, last year I think, come on my bike about 3 o'clock in the morning, um, we can see how popular it is. And the difference between bagel and Beigle, Beigle is boiled first and then baked, giving it that dense chewy texture. So that's the difference between the two. Yes or no, high or low. Whatever they do, we can do it better. Blinding smiles and on point style. They can play well, but we foretell. But we foretell. I'm not joining our race. I'm not in it for the chase. Go be gone, I'm sure. That. I've never, never noticed that before. The Truman chimney. And some of you are probably thinking, why are you walking in the road? It's just easier. The car comes. To be honest, I don't know why they allow cars down here, but the car comes, I'll just move. The brewing industry was active in the area from about 1666 and a brewery was purchased by Mr. Joseph Truman in 1679. So there you go. That's the history behind Truman. And on a Sunday, all this area here is all uh, Brick Lane Market. Amazing street food. Star Lanes there, it's a temping bowling bowling place. Really good. Played Lee there in a previous vlog. Check back and see who wins.
<laughs> and the street was formerly known as Whitechapel Lane. Yeah, I just uh, just said hi to Niaz. We, uh, we've always got to say hello when we're passing. But yeah, and he has one city spice. Good man. So I believe back in the day, probably going back to the 70s, Brick Lane was world famous for its Indian restaurants. And I believe there was like 80. A lot, yeah. Um, maybe more. Um, but unfortunately, there's not as, I mean, I'll say unfortunately, it's probably not a bad thing not to have that many anymore. But, um, yeah, there's, there's ones, the ones that are left are the ones that have survived the, uh, the terrible lockdown that we had. And City Spice is one of them. And it's somewhere I always go back to because I'm all about the quality. And when people have got quality establishments, ingredients, everything going on, then you return, don't you? You just keep going back. And that's exactly what what me and Luke do. Um, but yeah, this, so this is Brick Lane. We'll carry on showing you. We've started one end and we're gonna end up the other. I feel better every day. The troubles I had have been washed away. I'm cleaning up my act and moving on. In the silence of my room, I sleep all night and get up at noon. There's nothing to distract me in my dreams. Like a
So we're coming to the end, down this end of Brick Lane. Now, as you can see, it's a lot quieter down here. The other end is Shoreditch and Bethnal Green sort of area. So there's much more going on. But uh, yeah, we're coming into White Chapel now. And then we're gonna walk, walk down to Tower Bridge and get the DLR. And that's it. So that is the end. There you go, Brick Lane, from start to finish. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.